Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie Caitlin and my channel name is The Stylish Med. If you're new here, thank you so much for coming by. Please do subscribe and join the family. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back again. It's been a very long time since I sat down and did one of these sit down videos. I've just been posting vlogs and lookbooks. And that's mostly because I was busy, I was traveling, I was moving. If you've been following me on Instagram, then you know that I left China last month and I am currently doing my internship. And so, you know, I actually filmed this video before I left China and while editing, I realized that I lost some of the video footage. I had audio and no footage. So that was really annoying. So here I am filming this video again. So these are things that I bought before I left China to use for my internship. Most of the stuff is actually stuff you'd actually probably need in your medical studies but because in China we do have abundance and supplies and we have all these things in the hospital we don't really need to bring our own but I thought you know it would be better for me to have my own supplies because when I'm a doctor anyway I'm going to need them so I might as well get them now and because in China everything is cheap I don't want to come and then struggle to find these things so um, yeah, it's not much, but it is stuff that is essential in your life in the hospital. So I hope you guys enjoyed these videos, these hauls. These are my favorite types of videos to film because I love shopping, I love buying things, and I love opening things. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start with the smaller items or the bigger items. What am I going to start with? Um, okay. So I'm going to start with the big things and that's like white coats and scrubs so i already had two other white no i already had like four other white coats two of them are like really bad quality not really like flimsy material and then the other two were quite good but um i thought i'd get more in case you never know i wasn't sure if would be a lot to wear scrubs if we'd have to wear formal if we have to wear white coats so i just thought i'd get myself more pairs so i got the long sleeved ones and I got two of those, two long sleeved ones, one medium and one small, a small one because in summer you're not really wearing a lot of clothes, but then I thought I'd also get a bigger-ish one, the medium, so that if I'm wearing a jersey or a coat, I could also wear my coat on top. I thought it would be cold, but funny enough, it's not that cold here. And then I also got a short sleeved one, which I can wear also, obviously, in summer. And so that's my white coat. And then the next thing that I got, very exciting stuff, is my scrubs. I think this is going to be my favorite part of the haul because I love scrubs. I had scrubs before. I got my first pair of scrubs over a year ago, the green scrubs. But I didn't really wear them in hospital because in China we don't wear scrubs to school. And so now I actually probably wear scrubs more than anything in the hospital. And so I got myself four more pairs. I got grey navy blue, um, this purple, and sky blue. And so the purple and the sky blue are the same type. They have um, pockets, two pockets in the front, and then the pants have a pocket at the back and they have the drawstring. I don't really like this type of scrub because they're, I don't know, I just don't like them. I don't like things that don't have pockets on the sides. So the gray ones and the navy blue ones are actually my favorites because the top, okay, the tops are the same, but the pants have pockets on the sides. So I can actually put my things, my phone, my keys, my everything that I'm putting in my pockets normally, that I can put that in there. Whereas if you're putting your phone in the back pocket, it's probably gonna fall out. And I actually had an incident a few weeks ago where my phone fell out of my scrub pocket and it cracked. But anyway. So the next thing I got was these Crocs. And I'm so glad I got these because I spent the whole day in the hospital on my feet. And there's never a time that I'm actually sitting doing nothing or just sitting unless I'm on the computer checking results or ordering labs and on the phone or stuff like that. But most of the time I'm on my feet in the ward doing rounds, doing stuff for the patients, checking, um, doing bloods and physical exams and all that other fun stuff. So it's very important for me to be comfortable while I'm doing that. And when I wear flat shoes, you guys really know, I've spoken about this, that I get really sore feet and my feet get sore. But if I'm wearing like comfortable shoes like Crocs, 
that I'm totally fine. So I can wear these with my scrubs, and if I'm not wearing scrubs that day, if I'm wearing my formal clothes, I would still carry these with the plastic and change into these with whatever I'm wearing that day when I get to work. And so if you're a person who knows that you're going to be standing on your feet the whole time, you should probably get yourself a pair of Crocs. You will be so thankful. So that's all the big stuff that I got. The remaining things are smaller items. And so the first thing I'll talk about is these. And so I got a bunch of um, needles attached to syringes. And the reason I got these was so that I could practice you know, all the taking bloods, doing injections and stuff. If you've watched any of my other medical hauls, then you'd, you've probably seen me talking about my suture pad and my other kit that helps me practice injecting and withdrawing blood and also my arm. So if you haven't watched that video, do go and watch it. You'll probably find some useful stuff there that you will probably want to buy if you're a medical student. So I did get a couple of these that they would last me the whole year and they were quite cheap. I'm going to leave the links of everything I bought online in the description box so do go and check out the description box after this video if you want any of these items. And then the next thing I got was thread and whoopsie daisy. I just pulled the whole thing. Okay so I got these um, so that I could practice my suturing and knotting skills. If you're a medical student in your clinical years, then you know how important it is to be able to suture and to do knots. And so I thought I'd get myself thread and practice whenever I'm free. Um, I haven't been free yet, but I will be practicing when the time comes. And then the next thing I got was this, um, this light, which you use if you're doing a physical exam, you examine the eyes, the mouth, and whatever other part of the body you want to see clearly. And I think this is really important because I've seen in hospital here and back when I was in school, I've seen people using their phones and they tell the patient, open your mouth, and then they use the phone and they're, and I just found that so strange and so weird. If I was a patient and some doctor bought their phone, and was looking into my mouth, I'd be very weird and odd. So I prefer to have this. And so it looks like a pen, but it's really a torch. And it also has a little part that you can fit it into your white coat. And then the next thing I got was these little pins. I got a gold one, a black one, and a silver one that I can put on my white coat. And they're just stethoscopes, nothing special, but I just thought they were really cute, so I got them. So the next thing I got was this tuning fork and it came with this. So the one that I got is what, this 128 and you just, and then, I've only seen this being used once in clinic, but I am yet to do my neuro and ENT rotations. So I probably don't need it right now. The next thing I got were, um, a bunch of neurological tools. I got reflex hammers and all that other fun stuff. So the ones that I got are from the brand Carrot. If you guys again have already watched my other video, then you know that my first stethoscope was from a brand called Carrot, and they have a lot of other medical supplies and tools. So if you guys are looking for cheaper, you know, medical tools, stethoscopes, your reflex hammers, all these other things that you needed as a doctor or as a medical student, you should definitely check them out. They're online and your stuff is very cheap but very nice. And so I got four different tools. Yeah. And so these are the ones that I got. And I just love how like clean and nice and elegant they look. I know they're medical tools. They're not supposed to look classy and elegant, but I just thought they were really nice rather than getting a random yellow, pink, green, you know, and other random colors. So, yeah, guys, that is all I got for my medical supplies before I left China. And these are the things that I've been using and will be using in the hospital. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys love hauls as much as I do. <laughs> Please do leave a like if you like this video. Leave a comment and let me know what tools you use at school, what tools you use in whatever profession you're in. Let me know what's your favorite item, what of your favorite colors of scrubs. Leave a comment, let's interact. Follow me on my social media if you have any questions or if you just wanna follow me. I do post a lot on my Instagram and my Twitter, so do follow me there. If you like this video, again, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.
<laughs> oh, what are these called? Okay. And I'm so glad I got these. Yeah, cheers. And then the next thing I got. So, 